All right. All set. Getting some posts set up here. Testing one, two. Good. Audio quality seems very uh, fair right now. Unnecessary noise has been dealt with. Okay, I'm, I think I'm set. All right, good. So, um, welcome. <clears throat> now, I'm going to play some, a bunch of, I'm probably going to play like a few different like roguelikes today, probably. There's a couple I had in mind, the Caves and Code, Dead Cells, and like a few other ones that, as such. Just some stuff to enjoy, you know. You know, for the time being. I just finally got my fucking TV hooked up in my, um, in my rec room right now, so I'm able to, like, just in my office area slash rec room. So now I'm able to actually play console games, and if I get enough, a good long enough fucking HDMI cord, I might be able to stream them too, which I will probably do later down the line. I do have a couple games in mind that I want to stream. Let me just get the game loaded. Just check it. I'm checking to see if the game capture will see it first. If not, I'll specifically set it. Okay, good. You know what? I'm gonna make a new guy. So we got we got mutant and true kin. In, in case you guys don't know how the game works, you're basically in like some weird area where everything's like a fucking mutant. Like every, anything that's living is pretty much a creature of some sort. And you basically have like you're either a mutant or some type of like cyber cyberpunk fucking dude or something. And as you progress through the game, you're basically you, you, it, it, there's no real like story per se. There is like some kind of like thing you can go off of initially, but like let's face it, this is a game where you just try to see how far you can get, get and how much you can gain the system. I guess we're gonna choose mutant. What kind of guy do I want to make? I could make a crafter guy, maybe. Maybe a warrior? Nomad. Somebody who's friends with some tribes and apparently can recycle stuff. Scholar seems a lot of it pretty good too. Let's do some cities too. I guess one gets tinkering off the bat. I think both get tinkering, just one is more about like harvesting shit. Okay, we'll go for a marauder for now. Mara. I feel like I'm, I'm not really gonna go Sionics at all. It's always nice to have your uh, mutations like specified in certain areas rather than just like throwing left and right. Because while it's nice to have both Sionics and fucking physical power, it is it gets away a lot. Let's see here. Um. 
Any good strength ones? 15% chance of days your opponent on successful melee. That seems pretty good. I'll take that. Got eight points. Um, I feel like regeneration is just a necessity. Sleep gas seems useful. Yeah, it's slime. Very different types of stingers, apparently. That might be night vision. Being able to see in the dark seems like it's an absolutely, absolutely useful thing to have. Alright, since I chose the Marauder and it looks strength oriented, we're gonna go all in on that. This guy is gonna be a fucking meat monster with that. Now I do feel like we do need some ints. We do need some of this deck. Juicy deck. We need to toughen up as well. And I think that's good. We'll just keep this at 20, actually. That way I can have four, a good amount of stats. Because if I can have all these stats positive, that can help me in the long run, I suppose. Okay, what if I do this? Yeah, just make this guy bulky as hell and fucking strong as hell. Intelli strong, intelligent, and bulky. Intelligence is more for skills, essentially. If I, if I wanted to, like, learn a lot of skills, I probably should keep his intellect high. We'll just name him, um... Oh, Graham Crack. He's the crack smoking grand crack of many lands. <laughs> That's the start of Joppa. I don't, I don't want to fuck with any upper town. You know what would be a really fun roguelike to try at one point? You ever played, uh, if any of you ever played, what was it called? If you guys have ever played Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead, I would highly recommend it. at all. I gotta use the controls again. I'm gonna say one thing guys, um, if they can't see you take it, it's not a crime. That is all. That's one of the things I remember from last time I played this.
all the stuff we've collected, I can pro I can basically just sell some of this crap. The cloth overalls are garbage. We'll throw that out. Um, arrows, we never know when we might need them. Symbiotic Firefly, what the hell is this? Mid's light, extinguish permanently when unequipped, plus 400. He's a little friendly light firefly that I can perch have as a friend. Dirty, what does that do? So it's protecting against breaking, basically. Do you need another axe, though? Like, honestly, axes are fucking busted in this game. Sell this club. We'll keep this iron axe. The iron axe is always probably better than this, I would say. How much water do I have? Not much. So what we'll do is we'll sell some of these. Get some pretty drams. Which fills up our, uh, our water skins. Yeah, we got 43 drams. I think this guy here. Just give him a fucking folding chair. I think there was a couple other quests around here that I can kind of do. There was like a look feature. The buffer might see it's hated by, but loved by everybody else. Okay, so if I was in, um, I was in a better situation, I probably could have gotten more out of them. There's one or more guy around here. Where the fuck did he go? There's like a cultist dude. This is busy like fucking huffing paint or some shit in like one of these rooms. There he is. Oh, and our adventure begins. Time for us to find shit to beat the shit out of. Um, that's a lot to beat up. We're gonna wear. We're gonna equip that. And we're gonna equip that. Oh yeah, we probably should equip these weapons before we do anything. I what the feature is. It's supposed to be like an auto attack feature. I forget what it's called. I gotta remember some of these controls because these are useful.
backslash does that. Can we open our own menus. I'm thinking of these guys to um I could talk to them. Hey, don't I have this thing? Yeah, I should probably equip wear this or something. So it's my reputation with them now. Neutral. But I think by um doing what I did. They're basically friendly with me now. Like friendly enough where they won't fucking try to murk me or something like that. Guess we'll just pick up all this garbage. You never know when you can sell it. Those guys don't really have any good gear on them, but I suppose it's it'd be big like a it would be determined later pretty much, because you know that's how this game is. What's the? What is it? I'm trying to like remember what the fucking button is. It's supposed to be like an auto attack button or something. Guess I'll figure it out in a moment. I'll say one thing that I might do is strong as hell. Fucking beating ass like it's nobody's business. But I do need to like figure out where the fuck that I have to go with. How do I set this up properly? Auto attack melee A. Okay. Gotta keep beating up fucking plants for power. So you get stronger in this game. Yeah, just keep beating the shit out of things. How else do you get stronger? There's probably gonna be a certain level I need to be at just to like properly deal with like the typical situation around here. Someone's dead there. I think that might be for me. Yep, there's a wake. There's a glowfish. So I got a um, some gloves because that's good. It's more armor. You know, they call this area a special area or something, but I don't really see anything special about it. Maybe it's just a random little micro ruin that just exists. Just think of it existing. 
Yep, there's, there's nothing here. Nothing here for me. I need a sprint. Oh, I died. Well, you can't expect to win every time. Yeah, I'll, I guess I'll just give it like a second, quick second try with that setup. Whatever the game isn't fucking crapping out on itself. As it does. Sometimes it takes a few tries to get a good thing going for yourself. Fortunately, most people don't give a fuck about um, you entering the houses, so it's free real estate. I just gotta hope there's enough cool shit in here to um, skip a whole step or two. Finding a bow, though, is good. Always good to have bows. And guns are too expensive. I think the tricky part is just getting those first five levels. Because once you get those first five levels, you at least have something going for you. You're not completely helpless. There's a lot of snap draws here. Let's see if I can find some good gear. Over the tunic, some arrows. This guy's carrying a fucking two handed sword. Like, damn. It's good. Much rather have the extra de defense value. Not getting hit in the first place is always better. Oh, 
Oh, he actually had some strong stats on him. Okay. Well, I'm I'm only gonna keep reusing the same character until it's level five. If if the guy hits level higher than level five, then after the if he dies, then I'll basically decide on like a different character. The level five threshold is more so for um, ensuring that I actually get to play the character and not just fuck around. You kind of never know what what you might find here. So artless beauty, what the fuck is this? Oh, hopefully it's worth a lot of money. It's mostly gonna hope for with this shit. The trash that these people accumulate on a regular basis. It is insane how much garbage these people fucking carry. And just the amount of stuff that they're willing to just leave behind and such. This book is worth something. Oh yeah, I found a compound bow. Nice. There's a compound bow in one of those rooms that I looted. Snail encrusted. <laughs> it's just covered in fucking snails. Looks like it's only feature. You know, I might be able to buy those boots. I don't I rarely ever see boots being a fucking thing. I always get to grab them when I can. See we're not gonna use torches because night vision is a thing. Never yeah, gonna buy those boots. Anything to just increase your armor is just really good. Hulk Honey Ejector. For 50, 41 to 50 rounds, 60, 6 extra strength, 2 temporary hit points per level, reduced movement speed, you cannot feel pain, you're immune to fear. You suffer 1% of your maximum hit point and damage each round, this cannot reduce you to below 1 hit point. Okay, so it's just steroids. Well, steroids or not, it's going to the, this guy here so I can fucking progress his quest a little bit and get some free XP. Like, if I can save myself a little bit of trouble on XP, that's always good. It looks kind of nice. Oh, cool. Don't mind if I buy your arrows off of you and then murder you later. Cool. Well, you're not special. Oh, did I aim for the- did I get the head? Oh no, I chopped off their hand. Well. Your shit is now mine. It's now my right hand as a weapon. Okay, so this guy's a warlord. You can find wafers. Actually, is he gonna buy um, anything I have? Doesn't seem like he can afford much. I wonder if he'll take his friend's dead stuff, his dead friend's items.
Yeah, he was very willing to take all that. But guess what? Okay, he's a lot more formidable than I thought. But I do have a very nice bow with me. Had some nice gear on them, actually. Oh, I'm just gonna charge. What did I do? Not much. Am I out of arrows? Damn. Well. I apparently cu cut off his foot. Which apparently was enough to kill him. How the fuck do I access menus? I forget. I guess I could just access the inventory and that might let me do the rest. Let's see, doing upgrading this will be boost my life regen. Some of us will make it so I can crit stun more often, which will give me more chance of cooldown immunity. I guess I'll keep working on triple muscle, at least until it gives me a bit more strength. Oh, this is a village. Oh, they're fucking sna they're um snap jaws or something. But they're not assholes. Well, if that's the case, well, what's in your houses? Oh litter. Litter, sir. Don't mind me. As I peruse your wares. He can see me. A very well kept um, natural settlements here. Well, when I say well kept, I mean like kind of. <laughs> They're not quite well kept. No, they do like painting things for some reason. Oh, he's got a, I think he has a shotgun or something. Oh, 
want to sell these items to. I'm gonna get some a little bit of water. So we got an artificer guy here that apparently sells like a bunch of goodies. Um, unfortunately, I don't have anything to sell him because I just started. About finding that that armor was an upgrade, a solid upgrade, because it means one extra defense, which means that um, that for, combined with the boots means I have a defense of armor rating of four, which is good, which is buy out all their errors if I really wanted to. Just a ritual. And there it was the location at the input. Oh god, that is a horrible mini-map. Where the fuck did they want me to go? Journey to, to the far northwest for the Great Salt Desert. One area. I never knickknack. Travel to the lair of the legendary. Rock and drink. No, I do not want to do that. I want to look. Where the hell do you want me to go? You know, this whole place is just a fucking pain in the ass. It's in my journal, okay. So it's two west, three north. Interesting. That was an interesting little plant I saw there. Got nothing from it. Juicy level up. Yeah. 
got him. Probably camp. What the fuck are these? That's Puma. Wait, did they take my axe? They took my axe, didn't they? This is a sprint situation. Must have an axe equipped in your primary hand to dismember. Do I not have one in my primary hand? I could have sworn I have two axes. My character just a dumbass or something? My character not have hands anymore or some shit? Oh, well, long story short, I'm gonna have to fucking bail from the situation. Get hit by rocks with a fucking baboon. Is my character not wielding his weapon for some fucking reason? Is that the issue here? Or are my weapons just broken? Someone tells me my weapons are just fucking broken and I can't use them anymore. I 
No, they don't look broken. Like, here's his hand broken or something? My armor just like melted or something. Like I have I have four armor and they're doing like three plus damage to me. There we go. I fucking survived that fucking ordeal. The bamboo gave me a lot of XP though. The There's more of them. Of course. They kill the weaker ones first. Sprinting. Ooh, that was a heavy hit on his part. He's fucking dead. Oh, I got the rapidly advanced up, and that's cool. You know, let's get regeneration to rank four. Just instantly be able to regenerate stuff a lot faster. Because I think that what that did was it effectively gave me about... Yeah, an extra 10% chance to regrow missing limbs each round, 2% chance of removing a minor physical debuff or enemy each round, and I heal twice as fast. 20% faster now. I also got an attribute point, which I could probably... Um... Actually, I should probably check my skills. Fucking drag. Will be something I wanted to get. So that way, like, um, I can use flurry and then have offhand strikes where there's a chance where it increases the chance of offhand strikes in general. Very powerful, very useful. And I'm going to wield my weapon again, because I want to stick with the whole axe and weapons and such. I don't know why I keep saying I can't use this member, despite the fact that I'm a fucking axe wielder. I'm going to have to carefully remove all these fucking baboons. Do with these stunts, I can just equip them. The 
Okay, the Batman fucking hits hard as shit. But the main advantage of that is I can at least outrun them. And my regeneration's so fucking disgusting that I can kind of use it as a, um... As a tool. Yep. Whooped his ass. And keep in mind, if I do die here, this is, um... I'm gonna be making a completely new character. And I fucking died, so new character it is. Maybe let's go for a more tech savvy mutant this time. Yeah, let's go with the scholar. Make him a chimera. Let's go with the other traits here. All psychic powers. I don't want to fucking use that shit. I'm gonna go for regeneration. We're gonna go with the um. Good. I think the bonuses are good for weapons. We're gonna make him very dexterous because we feel like that's a good trait to have for such things. Maybe a fire blast. Oh, I think I'm quick as hell. That actually might be a good idea. Very intelligent. Just give him like 14 and eight willpower so that way he's able to do what he needs to do with that. And well, I guess we'll keep the rest of his other stats kind of like semi positive. There you go. Two plus zeros, a plus one, and a plus four. Just have them go all into in. Make him fucking... Actually, maybe a better spread is in order here. Yeah. I want his agility to be good. On Skrongo. The, the new potential person here. Skrongo the adventurer. This 22 int. His fucking big brain. Get our freebies. I think the only downside of not having super high strength is I guess you just can't carry too much. But it's kind of livable, I have to say. Okay, finding stunned lever armor is definitely a good one right off the bat. Even though the defense is poor on it, female was always better. And the board gloves are always useful. Boom rows. Fuck this. Okay. Seems useful. We got night vision, so torches are not entirely necessary. Um, we're probably not going to go axes. We'll probably go swords. We will dual wield at one point. Because dual wielding is nice.
it's kind of like heavy weapons here. So that compound bow we found earlier, like with the previous character, was like apparently sells for 357 on their end. Looks pretty good. I guess all I'll do is I'll buy a bunch of arrows. We'll find some on the way there. Buy all these arrows. Alright, let's ID this artifact while we're at it. Nope, broke it. Fuck. Apparently with all the intelligence of my character, he could not identify what the fuck it was. So let's see, what my character is currently wielding is cloth robes, a staff. What we'll do is we'll gear him up with this and this, which will basically give him a solid extra free armor at the cost of some dodge. War armor is pretty much a good amount because a lot of the areas in red, creatures in red rock and the starting zone pretty much probably do like five or less damage. Some of the monkeys do hit for like, I think, six or so with their fucking throwables. I don't like I'm using chitin or anything, so. Oh, I almost forgot. Quests. Never forget the quests. his random reputation. He's hated by birds. <laughs> Apparently. And the birds don't like him. We've got a vendetta for the fucking birds. It's a good find so far. It's a powerful individual. Here's a little Quintus bow. We'll load um, these arrows into him. How injured is this man? Well, apparently not too. Apparently too injured, but I'll take his crap, I guess. What the fuck is this doing? I think we found something good. Found a fucking gun. Well, it's engraved too. Fancy. We're gonna go. We're gonna be grade sorting. Let's see what's down here. This. Who knows? It might be something cool. Um, I need to run. Let's 
Slimes are dangerous. Critical hit. I got fucking slimed. I'll recover. Oh, so I can strike for a solid fucking 13 on some hits. That's very good. I'm hitting for those fucking amounts. That's, um, very good. Okay, they're not coming back up. I guess I'll use this time to battle some fucking plants. Do I have any bullets? I don't think I do. Okay, so I can't wear that without picking up another slot. Magnetic boots? You know, those aren't those don't seem too bad. I might be able to use them at one point. Um if I really have to protect and stand my ground essentially. So far, so good. What the fuck is this? Okay, so it's somebody I can talk to. Apparently has a bunch of wares. If I kill this person, will I get detrimented by it? Probably not, but he does have a gun. He does have ammo. What if I buy it? If I just buy his ammo, can he just not shoot me? Yeah, what if I just buy his ammo from him? You ever have a guy just buy your ammo and proceed to... I see, does it go with my gun? You might have a, um, an idea on our hand. Yes, it goes in. Success. We have successfully murked this man. Look at all the stuff this guy had. We have steel dagger on him. Very good, a very good item. That's a revolver. Very juicy, very good. It's water skin, yes, very good. Green's hat. We'll take we'll take that from here. I'll just I'll just take that off your hand, sir. Not like you need it anymore. If you didn't want it stolen from you. You should have um should have I don't know prepared yourself.
So I got boots, things, and five armor total. I think if I wear the hat, it gives me like plus one or something to dodge, which is good because I think I have um, very bad regular defense value right now. So having an extra point of defense value is always good. Uh, there's spiders here. Who's in there? How many bullets do I got left? I think I got like five bullets. Get my ammo's gone. Well, not my problem now. What is that? Okay, this is a bad. This is a mistake. What does this quilt do? Cold resist, okay. Not that I need it, I'm not in the fucking cold. Now I am arms decently. I said, can I can I tinker? I think I have a tinkering skill, don't I? Yeah, I do have tinkering. I can do stuff with that. But I need disassemble. But honestly, I need a weapon skill. So go to buy my um, setup here. What's my web what's my sword count as? Two-handed iron long sword. Long blades. Okay, if I'm gonna be using long blades, I'm probably gonna need some fucking skill in that, I suppose. So I can get, I can get some like extra hit rate stuff or something with that. Whatever weapons are there, you got heavy weapons here. Short blades. You know, short blades seem like it's where it's at. I might go. I might eventually go into short blades. Short blades and dual wielding. But um, for now, we're just here to um, experience. Experience the wonders of this strange land that I'm in. And hopefully not die in it. But I do believe I'm powerful enough to kill these slimes now if I have to.
There was nothing here. It's a bunch of spiders. That's a bunch of centipedes. Oh, he's electrified. This is where we sprint. And then we t and then we grab our bow. We fucking murk it like that. And then we proceed to murk this guy. Because he's just fucking free XP. Did that spider have anything unique to him? Nope, nothing. Well, that's one threat gone. Any more where those come from, I suppose. Okay, centipedes are not a threat. Very careful with my health, because, um, there's a lot of these bastards. How many centipedes are back there? I feel so many already. Is that clown? Oh, they just keep coming. They just keep coming. I mean, as much as I don't mind freak speed, you gotta, you gotta like, you gotta chill the fuck out on this. Oh, I think I know why there's this it's a nest. And multiple arms seems like it'd be nice.
Finally. Rondo's had a writhing success here. Chins. Who are you? A bear. He seems to take quite a, bit, a few hits. They're literally everywhere. Fortunately, I am well fortified. Yeah, sure. Up agility to plus four. Make it so my character is super accurate. Still wait on the skills for a bit, though. Honey seems like it would be worth keeping. Well, because of all the stuff I have on me, I'm going to have to drop something. We knew that honey is quite heavy. I guess what I'll do is I'll, I'll dump some of the armors, because I don't really need all these armors. I don't give a lot of value either. In your adventure for just a brief bit. There's are boulders. The boulder. Um. I don't know, these fucking spiders. Fuck are you? Okay, he's poisonous, so I'm gonna have to go over here for a bit. More plant buddies. I am leveling up quite often here, which is good. So I'm one point away from um, getting a number of agility point from this triple jointed thing, which is going to give me a lot of... Um... It seems like the, tr the best part of the triple jointed ability is... It gives me a ch Any agility moves I have... We'll just have a straight up chance of just being refreshed. So if I go into short blades, those those short blade abilities will have a, a chance to basically not go on cooldown. If I get that with flurry, I'll basically be able to just spam attacks and shit at people. Plus the agility bonus is nice. Great what quickness does. It's no heightened quickness kind of helped me a bit here, probably. 
I guess I'll upgrade my regeneration slightly just so that, that way I can um, heal a little faster. Yeah, just a smidgen faster. Somebody's shooting at me. That is a sprint away situation. That sleep gas over there, so I'm gonna back off. You know what? I can't pick up anything else in here, so I might as well back off and go back to the um, town. the goodies I found though it seems like I did a pretty good job of my exploration let's take one quick swoop around here make sure I know what the fuck I'm looking at here I'm doing a lot better this run though and I think I have enough items to fulfill that one quest I don't think about it, I haven't identified them. That's a tattoo gun, I think I can fucking have that one. Grenade, however, I'm keeping. I think I know how much is needed. Oh, I could just give him the broken fucking quest. And getting both. really see myself um, do anything hostile to these people too, so I'm just gonna fucking water them. Give them the water quest. If it means a better reputation with them, then so be it. This crap we found. The honey's worth a bit of money, which is good. The guns are worth a bit as well. I want to keep a couple of them around. I'm going to keep the daggers, though. Daggers are going to be probably my main weapon after a certain point. Sunveil. Heat resistance. Resist... Reputation for this Zari, Chari time, or whatever the fuck it's called. Um, masterwork, carbide, bronze. I have better weapons. Those, all those arrows. Bullets are definitely a thing I need right now. So let's get these 27 slugs. 27 rounds actually is like a, quite a lot actually when you think about it. That will probably last me for... Oh, is there static? Um, give me a second. I'll, I'll check it. I'm going to do an audio check here. Give me a moment. I don't know why it does that sometimes, but I'm just gonna give myself an audio check here. One moment. All right, testing.
I'm just gonna give it like a check here. I think the audio might have gotten buggy. Okay, I'm testing it right now. I should be able to hear in a moment. I don't know why it does that. It always bugs. It always like it's. This is the second time it's done this. I'm not sure why it does. Like, it it kind of does it when it wants to. There's a problem. But I'm gonna do some. I'm gonna do some reconfiguration real quick. It'll be fixed in a moment, or I'm gonna attempt to fix it at least. Right. All right. I'm testing it now on the stream. Okay, good. I figured out what it was. I think maybe this so my um my microphone has like a little like slide like a roll like one of those like dials in the back of it. And I think it got broken at one point because I, I have I just changed it to a new setting right now. So this is what it sounds like with the, the setting I put it on. This is the upper setting that I had it on before. Yeah. I think it's the my blue Yeti broke down on me, I guess. Um or at least one of its settings is broken now. Either way, um it should be working now. It should be fine, I hopefully. <laughs> I'll give it one more test. All right, I'm just gonna give it like one quick audio test. Okay, good. No problems anymore. Problem solved. It happened to me when I was doing my Linus Edge stream too. I don't know why. It just, it works when it wants to. <laughs> So it is what it is, I suppose. I, I, so to give you a summary of what happened in this run so far, I found an engraved musket in a, in a random pile of rubble. There's a random dungeon nearby that, that I just loot, fought a bunch of creatures in it and basically like slimes and all that. And managed to like, um, well, it's been fighting lightning spider things or whatever they're called. I haven't even gotten the red rock yet, by the way. I just went through this one cave over here. Like this one little thing like right here, pretty much. Yep. Yeah, seems like a problem with it. I'm probably gonna get a new microphone eventually, but um Given my circum circumstance right now, I've already spent money on a fucking new graphics card, so. Just kind of like, nah, I'm not going to worry about that just yet. Get rid of the big guy. Oh, somebody's murdering um, apes over there. I got him. Wait, who was killing the baboons in the background? I saw some like fighting going on. And I don't know who who was doing it. The traveler. Oh, well, whoever it was, they just decided to leave.
Oh, that's why. Let's get let's get rid of this big guy. We got every generation. And a and a big sword. I leveled up like six times in that one dungeon I explored. <laughs> I'm just like, okay, this is good. Got a huge head start on whatever I was doing. I think not very far. I, I, I've kind of barely touched a game, but then I got distracted because a bunch of other games got released. So... At most, I've screwed around with it. I've heard many good things about it and many questionable things, mainly, but nothing related to the, the questionable parts were not really from the game itself, more so how the devs run their things. Ah, that's poisonous. That's poison. Yeah, it looks like it's dying. I mean, there was that and also the fact that, um... I think there was, like, some contradictions from numbers up at one point. Poison. Oh, there's one of these, like, plants. Okay. Yeah, it, there was a lot of drama from what I've heard about it. Like, on both ends. It wasn't just, like, both sides were not exactly right in, the, in, in, the, in some regard. That's just how, that's how arguments happen, anyway. There's always two problems, not just one. So special about this. Some reputation. I don't think it's very valuable though. Basic short bow. The problem with inclusive spaces is that a they tend to bring a lot of problems with it. With it, it's it's kind of like when you when you it's kind of hard to make something inclusive when you're doing a um, when you're developing a game because people are pretty much gonna like hear about it, want to talk about it, and it's kind of hard to stop them from talking about it, both good and bad. That's why, that's why I feel like de developers need to have a live or let live type of thing with it. People are going to troll about it. People are going to do all sorts of like wonky bits. But at the end of the day, they're, they're going to do that regardless. Well, that's good. I, I just remember it was a thing from a while back. Um, I don't know if it's that way now. I just know that that was a... A bro moment, but every community has those. I've had my um, Discord server I fucking use and run tends to have problems every now and then too. It's, it doesn't matter how big a community is, it just happens. Damn, this um, this beetle is fucking me up. Wow, he just tanked a whole bullet like that. Oh, there you go, got him, got him. Yeah, but it, it's enough much you can do about it. It's a problem with it. That's the problem with um, online communities. You, you can only stop so much of it. That's like it's like the equivalent of um, piracy or something. Like good luck trying to stop. And like no one, people have tried to stop that, and that just doesn't keeps going regardless. It's an unfortunate side byproduct of games. I gotta have to wait for that thing to die. Maybe, um, let's see, 40 turns. Could be gone now. Oh, 
poison. Poison is getting me. Um, let's see. Let's get my bow. I feel like the bow is probably a better tool for dealing with the, this plant hazard here. I don't know what that... I wouldn't be surprised if my character caught some kind of disease from this thing. Cease, mushroom. Cease. Okay, I got past it. Lever cap. I don't think I have. A, I don't think I have a cap on. Oh, I had a hat. I had a hat on. Okay. I think I just picked up the whole corpse. <laughs> I'll, just eat, I'll just eat it over there. Any nests? Nope. Open tunic. But anyway, as, as I was saying, though, um, it's kind of a live and let live type of thing, in my opinion. Of course, so many acid spewing creatures here. Shoes, mace, wafer. Someone, someone left their water skin out here. So I'm thinking about maybe going. I'm definitely going to go daggers. Like daggers are definitely going to be my go-to here. Like a dual wielding dagger, man, because um, I went heavily to decks, like the agility stuff, so that way I can kind of like um, hit very efficiently and also because I'm going to be using ranged weapons from time to time as well. And it kind of goes hand in hand and a lot of the light, like light weapons kind of go more agility anyway. Hmm. I, eh, see, you do you. In my case, it's just more of I, I, I know I'm well aware that there's going to be problems in society, and that's just how it is. Well, as long as it doesn't, I've had a fucking hard, like terrible shit happen on my like on my end with random people and stuff. But um, I tend to like once it's dealt with, it's dealt with. I just get on with my business and don't dwell on it. But it's better that way for everybody's sanity, especially. People who are trying to run, because because I, cause I like I like doing tabletop games and stuff, and these type of games are also up my alley. It's, it's fun to have like a lot of like adventures and try to see what kind of like cool stuff you can do. I don't, I don't got time for um, dealing with all the random unusual folk I deal with on a regular basis sometimes. This is I've had to deal with that twice so far. The con like. Not gonna do all the details because I'm not sure if it's dealt with or yet or not because it, it's out of my hands. But it is what it is. Well, that's the reason why I have the live and let live mentality is because if you try, let's let's face it, if you try pushing back on somebody, they're just gonna push back back harder. That's just how life it. That's how people are. Just human nature to just re retaliate with more resistance. And it's a vicious cycle. Is the best best case in this scenario just it's just to um, try to show 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 them that you're better than that.
What kind of rock is this? Oh, it's just covered in sap. Okay. So, there's there's got to be another floor in here somewhere. Oh, I know where it was. It was that one. Uh, I'm an idiot. It's over here. Let's pass the chest. I was not paying attention. I picked up a corpse by accident again. I wonder if I can butcher them. I feel like that would be very efficient use of um, food. You can't just let it go to waste, you know. That's a good hammer. Good stuff. We got corpses. Oh, I forgot to drop it. Or did I? Maybe there's something here that is hindering me. Or maybe my strength got lowered for some reason. I thought I had 18 strength. What happened there? Is something inflicting my character? Something is definitely inflicting my character. Active effects one. My guess is something is um, impacting my character's ability to carry things. Which wood bark? I guess I'll drop that. Stick it up weight. Your strength is 17. Is my character suffering from an illness or something? It says that my strength... So it says my strength, um... 17. I didn't change anything. Yeah, I must have been... I must have been afflicted with something, probably. Perhaps I'll ditch some goods. Some of these weapons, probably, that I've been picking up. Typically the weaker weapons I'll, I'll drop. These woven hoods. These hoods. Do I want to drop all this water dough? It's very useful. Oh, no wonder. I'm, I'm, I'm wielding the corpse. <laughs> I, was be I was beating the crap out of enemies with a corpse. That was the problem. <laughs> that was, I was wielding the corpse. How about always spaghetti? How's work been doing for you? I'm sure you've been enjoying it. Besides um, all the complications that come with that profession. Yeah, I figured. Because you probably get all types of people with that type of job you have. Okay, someone left some fencing here. Oh, 
Oh, it's a Snapjaw camp. What the fuck did this guy just do? Yep. Yeah, and he apparently has a long sword. Okay, I'll take that. Oh, explosive grenade. That looks like steroids. Oh, it's a salve injector. That's even better. That's what I was looking for. Life regen in a tube. Unfortunately, I've ever not mentioned what Skeddy's um, field of work is, just because um, I don't know um, if he wants that revealed or not. I just know I just know it offhand because I talked to him. For all for all fairness and sake, I don't. But it's a job that I would probably not do ever, because it would probably get on my nerves, just by the type of people I have to put up with. Gotta have nerves to steal for that one. That's all I can say. Not a, not not an easy one. Big guy here. Got him. Really, all he had was robes. He was he was just punching me, I guess. Okay. This is my this is one of my more successful runs too. This is good. I'm enjoying this. I haven't gotten to tinkering yet, though. Grab the nugget. So it was worth going this way, but I gotta break my way through again. Regeneration is doing me a lot of work here. Up a corpse again. Know where to go? Oh, that's right. I have two two hands, so I can technically. I technically can wield ever weapons right now. Cause I have four arms. <laughs> I forgot about that. Desert Chris. Um, I think. Is ace. Yeah. We'll wield all that. Is that a doggo? That's a doggo. Oh. Oh, he's friendly. Okay, I don't have to shoot him then. After shooting him twice, of course. <laughs> um, fancy mask, I will be taking that from you, sir. Go out of cannoli. I hope it's a good cannoli. Cannolis are really good, though. Like, I'm more of a Stromboli guy, though. Stromboli's really good. You ever had a decent, like, ham and cheese or, like, broccoli and cheese Stromboli? Like, it's... It's something I can eat, like, several pounds of it and not... And still, like, one more of it. It's, it's hard for me to get sick of eating it. And now I just need to find the exit here. I need to find a, find a way to get deeper. Probably all the way up there, probably. Now, this this little, like, village thing here is the first time I've seen this pop up anytime soon. Where is it? There it is. There's my, there's my way down. Down into the area where I had to kill something to basically do a quest. Who's this? Here's the occultists. I'm 
It's a shame. My job's not very eventful either, but it pays well. Okay, my guy is just bad at firing arrows, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna pull out the gun and instantly just annihilate this dude. Our clears. Okay, let's break that spike over there. This is a pretty deep cave, actually. Oh, we found a critter. And it's already injured. <laughs> I think I have to pick up its corpse, too. How heavy is its corpse? 30 pounds, I can carry that. Where's my level at? My attributes are right right now. I could, use, I could do I could do better. I want to save the mutation points, because I want to get, like... There's... Wave interference. To reverse radio waves, so I guess something like um, I forget what they call that. This is like a specific. There's probably like a specific name for it somewhere. Okay, my guy needs to heal, so I'm just gonna put him in wait. Wait twenty turns. Generation at its finest. Alright. Hey, Eric. Okay. How do I explain the, the fear to him? I mean, you're welcome to explain it as much as you like. You understand what I'm talking about. <laughs> Kinda. Um, don't know the exact naming of the convention of what you're bringing up, but I, I'm sure it's something in the involving frequencies. Not exact frequencies, but reversal frequencies. Okay. Crap. Got it. Up crab with my gun. How do you say this in any way? So basically, think of a river. A river has a flow, Greg, you know what I mean? And there's a solid spot in the river that has no flow. That would be a reverse frequency or radio wave. Mm -hmm. It still has a completely effective radio wave, but there's no flow to it. Ooh, mechanical wings. Makes sense, Greg? Kind of. It's, it's, it's basically like it kind of flows in a, in a sense. Right. Like a pocket dimension. It's pocket of space that does not it's a radio wave but not at the same time it's a phase it's stuck, it's stuck in the phase it's like a state but it does not change pretty much yes best way to explain oh that's right this beetle's still trying to fight me um oh i mean i've just been rocking a steel greatsword this entire time and i fucking died we're at Whereas the easy way to explain it oh. is their radio waves actually do harm you, no matter what frequency it's at or time. Well, radio waves only harm you if they're a frequency lethal enough to penetrate. Which is 5G. 5G is typically lethal. Eh, not any more lethal than your average radio wave. Actually, no, it's actually more lethal if you actually look it up. <laughs> Probably. It's much really bad. They don't tell you how that is, but it's it's really bad. Think of your cell phone, but worse. <laughs> Holy shit! Yeah. Actually, no, it ain't. Trust me. I work where I work. Five G kills anything within a a a wavelength of it. We're talking 
energy. Are you talking about like a concentrate of it, or like a small, or like a passive radiation of it? No, like an actual trait of it, not even passive. It will kill anything. It will kill anything less than five G. You mean so you're talking about? Uh, are you talking about the fact that like it damages other radio waves, or the fact that it literally can, is harmful to biological it things? Damages, it also damages energy waves at the same time, and damages them. Because you know some That's frequencies do interrupt other frequencies. That's kind of like a common gimmick with radio waves on, entirely. And it actually is stronger to be reactive than two point four, but they don't tell you that part. You know what? I'm making a root and toot and shoot and man here. It's healthy liver on the G zone. I, I thought. I'll buy regeneration <laughs> later. No. And 5G is not less energy, lower energy. Trust me. I mean, to be fair, everything kills everything. That's just that's just life. <laughs> and there's one thing I, I, I have learned: everything basically kills everything. Yeah, exactly. And 5G actually takes more energy to run at a higher rate than Act 2.4G. 5G is not efficient. Mm -hmm. It's not fucking not efficient. The emitters can't pass a certain wavelength or it'll take too much energy. I'm going to take a negative. Let's see, if I take a negative, um, what kind of negatives are there here? You only gener know your general state of health and not your precise number of hit points. Right, if you actually knew like, I'll think what they have planned for 5G, you would be more horrified if you knew what they had planned for it. See, with that, I can get, um, electric, electric ionic pulse mic. What's that do? Disables nearby artifacts and machines. Eh. Garbage. I couldn't mutate night vision later. Although. Or multiple arms later, here for one. Oh, because what I do for a thing, I'm actually more closer to what the effects are, and I can learn what the effects this time compared to most people. Greg agrees with me on this one. I can learn about the effects more. Uh, I know you study a lot of different things. I just don't know what you study at the current moment because I barely talk to you nowadays. But my job does include part of this. So... Yes, from what I've been learning at my job, I know 5G is complete horseshit. It's live by how it works. He's, he's asking who are they? Uh, he wants well, a I can't, specification. I can't say on stream. Is it like an NDA? Yes. Okay. Let's see. Beak. The reputation for not allowed to be very specific or something like that. Can I say some stuff? Yeah. Yep. In the eight. Mm hmm You know what? I might use electromagnetic pulse or I might ditch night vision and go for a more heavier duty trait here. Can't wear helmets. Let's see, quickness, double muscle, multi arm, triple jointed. Basically the most aggressive gunsman ever knew the man. So, and sometimes things get vague. That's just the nature of things at times. Yeah, sometimes it can be vague. You can't just think about it. <laughs> it is what it is. It's like that the story. I couldn't say who or exactly what it was because... Yeah, I think this is a good combination. Although I think... I feel like because... I should probably cheapen... Um, I might just go 18 int and then basically get 14 ego so that way I can get rege like extra pri better pricing at least. But you get what I'm saying. Like, I couldn't say who, who it was because of my job. You know. Oh I mean? no, I understand job confidentiality. That is a fucking that is a legitimate issue. Like we're trying to talk about stuff and sometimes. Yeah, even my job. I can't talk about anything we're talking about here completely, even if Ray wants me to, because I only say certain things, even on my job. I call him certain things. I can't say anything else. Okay, I'm just naming this guy Gorbin time. He's, he's a gunslinger. He, is he gonna gorb with his guns? Basically, I'm making a knife wielding, gunslinging, rootin' tootin' cowboy. With four arms, very triple joints, and is unnaturally quick. 
say Ray, is long term. Do not trust what they're saying about the four GTRs because they're actually lying about them. The effects are worse than you think. <laughs> okay. Let's put it this way: the four G towers are so bad that anything was basically with a few mile, a hundred mile, hundred yard radius cannot even function. Not a year can function. That's how bad it is. And I'm from a small scale, not large scale. Good. I mean, how much ammo do I start? Two hundred and sixty-two rounds. Fucking damn. Damn, dude. 262 rounds. Perfect. Like my job is, I can actually... I actually, uh, around people who are in the 5G towers, I can tell you right now, hells no, those towers do more than you think. <laughs> actually, they're not wrong about AM radio in that manner. If AM radio is used right, oh, hells no, it's not safe. To be fair, it also has it, it's heavily dependent on um, how they utilize it too. Not, yeah, you're not just gonna like randomly grow bird limb out of nowhere because one person decided to um, sit and stand near one. There has been, but it's gonna, but at least like like not you're not gonna instantly just grow a bird limb on somebody, but it will probably um, it might lead to long term health problems probably. Oh, likely. But then again, there's a lot. It's kind of hard to pin. You can't really pin it on it itself because technically, there are tons of things that can cause long-term health problems. Yeah. I mean, just look at all the cra cra crap everybody eats and drinks on a regular basis. That has all microplastics in it. The only way to run a fi to be actually effectively run into your cell phone from a five G shower being like 10 miles away from it. If you're anywhere near 5 miles, you're fucked. <laughs> Here's the cultist guy. The actual oh. radio zone oh, of back. actual 5 tower where it silences everything is ridiculous. <laughs> you imagine they're just like hiding corpses there to like jigs up. Like I, I swear to god, you want to hide from the world? This be within a hundred feet oh. of a five, be like a two hundred feet of five G tower. You're not gonna have a cell phone signal, an internet signal, not even radars can go to you because that's how much the thing was blocked. I always use the good old fashioned aluminum. Really had to. Mm -hmm. So I uh, so oh, it's, it's worse than aluminum right though. You get an aluminum room and still get a Wi Fi side of the room. That's a proven. That's actually fact. I learned from my job. So I just got harvestry for free. Um, so oh, Greg, a story from my job. One of the bosses, right? I thought you were supposed to be confidentiality about it. No, this is my, this is a story from his story. I can say this story because there's no names. Mm -hmm. This part. That's so it's already a diluted. It's <laughs> exactly a guy placed a room full of aluminum on the walls and everything. Put his his thing in the room and expected to get signal out of the room. <laughs> mm -hmm. Quite literally. Oh, Ray, you don't even know. Sling and gun, receive no accuracy. Right. Actually, that is um, these are some good perks actually for pistol. Fastest gun in the rust action cost for firing a gun is twenty five percent reduced. For 20 rounds, your actions will cost firing guns. For it's reduced from so halved. So basically, just a lot of action economy enhancements. That's that's really nice. So disarming shot seems like it would um be pretty good too, just for like warriors. Okay, what what's what's long what short blades give me? Because short blades is agility based too, from what I've noticed. Jab um when it, when you make offhand. I think offhand packs twice as often, but it applies to organic hands, so... But not robotic ones. Conspiracy, got it. Uh, you call it conspiracy, but, uh... I mean, you, you can, I mean, given the information you get, did give, it basically could be classified as one in a sense. Could, but... And my information is more accurate because I'm, I actually have more... Again, it's a case of... It, it's a case of that you don't... You can't provide enough information <laughs> can, at the moment to basically um, Until classify I get fired, as anything else. If I get fired, I can. 
<laughs> That's the deal. I'm pretty sure NDAs well, work post employment. Uh, kind of. I don't. Which is nice. Because I think that's I think that's something they should that they do technically fucking do. Technically, my only counts if I sell. What the secret. fuck? Oh, he's fighting the the fireflies. Yeah. And he dropped the capacity. Is this guy gonna die? Only, technically, my only counts, Greg. If I if if I ever really trade secrets, pretty much. If I don't, they'll trade secrets. I'm good. Fancy book. I'm thinking that. Uh, yes. There's actually a clause in my contract that says if I go on a stream, I can't even talk about it. <laughs> That's not even a joke, right? That's actually a fucking part of my contract. I mean, this day and age, it's not a, not a rare thing to see these days. So it's not conspiracy, it's actually part of my fucking contract. So left, right, missile weapon, chrome oh. revolvers. I need a sword. I don't have a sword, so I'm gonna pick up this Charles Quartz and use it as a fucking weapon. Oh, I don't even have a German meat clause. Like, my actual couple meat clause says if I do something, they can they have full control of my media. My uh my stuff. But if I do to be Ever. fair, though, I technically, um, like, technically, streaming is a social media. Yep, and they have full control by their calls on their fucking contract. Well, they could they could say you can't fucking put this here or something, and that's basically that's what they'll do. Oh no, they're allowed to actually if they actually feel that it goes if I'm actually doing something beyond them and it may affect them. They're allowed to go in and share everything I say and stuff what I say. But I'm like, what I'm saying is basically it just means that they can just shut you up if they need to. Yep. That's all. Which is understandable if you're trying to hide trade secrets from from a company like that you have of a company because um, that does make sense. Yeah, my journal uh, not me. Like, Mine's if I was running stuff. a business, I wouldn't want someone fucking knowing my method of handling shit. Only That's fair. Do it. I don't think anybody wants their their business strategies given away so fucking easily. Okay, pistols are all right, from what I know. It's honestly not being able to tell my exact HP isn't too bad either. Especially since I think I did go for regeneration. Yeah, the company I work for is nope, I did not. At, at people relations. I tell you right now. Shitty at. <laughs> I mean, that's also the, that's also true. They probably don't want some random person saying that they are the one person who knows everything about something in a company. Oh, else no. I don't know everything. Okay, I think I just got myself a weapon. It's a desert, Chris. Okay, I have a dagger. That's good. I have enough to know what certain effects are going on and how it's going on. That's all. So basically, you know what you're supposed to know, and that's it. <laughs> exactly. Oh, no wonder I couldn't fucking move through this. This is asphalt. Oh. Can I collect this? I learned a lot of it wasn't so long, though. Do I want to carry a bunch of asphalt? Yeah, I'll do it later. Theory, my company this encompassy for two years on something, and the encompassy actually could be fixed just by fixing it index there. Great. Mm-hmm. Well, that's like I said, it's just business. What can you do? Just gotta basically they're telling me this is not even confidential, that's what they're telling all the customers. The basic on the customer is that someone's trying to hack into your account. 
when it's not even fucking you. <laughs> oh, I need to reload. Okay. Great. This is what they explain as a hacking situation. Okay. They have a certain amount of time the passwords to be saved on the account. Okay. Mm -hmm. Every single time or select few customers, whenever it expires, the password resets. They read the password. Same amount of time, password resets every single time. Password's supposed to reset on the auto sign. -in. I think the reason why they do that is because of the fact that it helps. Um, it's a secure. It's a security method to prevent people from brute forcing or no, figuring out it. No, no, no. That's the worst part. They said, "Oh, it's, it's hackers trying to steal your account." Oh no! You're getting you're getting hacked. Oh no! And then other times, it's like specific times every month. Their password resets on them. Specific times every single time every month. I say those jars aren't super heavy. They're like eleven pounds. I don't like them at that. I'll, I'll take my jar with me. Thank you. Okay. This is but my Greg, my jar now. Who's gonna steal an email? That you can only put four passwords in, then you lock stuff out of the account. I I would use Auto Explorer, but I like I just like trying out like areas myself, like kind of like thinking about how I can trade with this bat. Yeah, but explain this um, to me. You can only put the passwords in four times before you're locked in. Okay. So, ten people call in with the same. Okay, there's a whole village here. So, Eric, what I'm seeing right now is a whole fucking village. I see. So Greg, explain this to me though. Okay, this is where it makes sense to me. I get calls every day about the same issue of passwords not working. Okay, Greg? Okay, and you have my amazing agility. I can't hit this guy. They're saying someone's trying to hack them. I'm like, okay. Meanwhile, Greg, the only time I saw it hacked was two times. I hold. My son has been downloading moves again on his on my computer. You must fix this. This, Lauren helped us, but yeah, the combination of my job, it's more than that desk at this point. Is it doing five jobs in one? So that's why I could summarize is people compl go call him to complain about things. Pretty so much. And it's like a basic help desk job, but it's fucking not. It's like five different jobs you're supposed to do at once. <laughs> Which is normal in a business. Uh, most of the time they tend to throw you over a bunch of stupid jobs that they don't want to pay extra people for. And well, you know. It's more in help desk. It's like, I'll, I'll DM Greg really quickly. <laughs> hmm? Greg, I get this. It, it... That's unfunny. Not something goofy. That's the way it's all one screen, by the way. <laughs> oh no, this man is legendary. I need I need to run before he um bothers me with his special weapon. Um Hell's not you dead? He's not dead. Yeah, this guy is gonna um fuck me up. Yep, yeah, because he fucked me up. Gorman time has been slain by a legendary, okay. But Greg, that's the way it's all at once. That's how I do all once. Yeah, I got I got I got I got gorbed by a fucking <laughs> goblin. Or the equivalent of a goblin in this game. <laughs> Honestly, not a bad not a bad attempt given what I had available. Um, honestly, Gunslinger seems fun. I might do one more run, and then I might move to a different game. But I, I don't think I hit level five on him, so I'm gonna I'm gonna try him again. Yeah, like I said, Ray, right. we're in help desk at this point. I've done help desk before. No, this is a fucking help desk. <laughs> oh no, I was just trying to make a like a, a multi armed crazy. Gun wielding mutant. I actually built him.
basically with um with multi multi limbs and triple joints with double Crazy. muscles. Why don't you make the why don't you make the caveman from Prime? I've already made an Uga Booga Man at the beginning of this stream. I'm not making another one. I'm trying to I'm trying to try I'm trying fresh ideas right now. And currently this one's still kind of fresh for me. I'm gonna go talk to this guy before um he fucking wanders off. Okay. What did I get here? A yonder cane. Bunch of some tubes. Salve injector, fantastic. Night vision goggles. I don't I don't even need Okay, I didn't even need night vision mutation. It just gave it to me in a box of crayons too. Fantastic. Hooray. I mean, finding that in the beginning of town is always amazing. Okay, we'll sell this. We'll sell the slug. I'm not selling my slugs. Slugs are too important. I found a musket, so I now have a I have a bigger gun if I need one. Slender weapon I'll take to keep. I think I might be able to trade the box of crayons. Somebody. You might. I will buy some more slugs, though. You can never have too much ammunition in this game. That's just one. That's one of the things I learned the hard way was you can never have too much ammunition. Security card. Where the fuck did I get that? Oh, I'm holding on to that security card. Gonna throw off my night vision goggles for now. I don't need them on yet. But the fact that I got them is good. I'm gonna see if he'll take my um Nah, he's not getting my he's getting the crayons and that's and he's gonna like it. Um let me see. Did he even use cells? Let me let me I'll I'll check them. I don't think I need a recharge. Oh, I do have to replace the cell on them. Um I'm just gonna look at the cell real quick. That's an artifact. The chem cell. It appears to be on low power too. Okay, here's something interesting, Greg. Yeah, so I guess I'll, I'll, I'll I guess I'll leave this item in its um. I'll just reinstall this. Actually. Outline dirt is that become what? cement, Greg. That means cement using dirt for cement is actually a practice that has been coming uh, in recently. Uh, Alkaline dirt is that become cement. I mean, it's not any more surprising than like the kind of stuff you we find nowadays. I like it, but here's but here's the worst. People actually decided to build wires in that alkaline dirt. Build what? Build like a wire line in that alkaline dirt. I don't think you can build water lines in those. Oh. You can't else. Yeah. The genius decided to put alkaline put a wire wiring across alkaline dirt. Oh, I forgot to talk to the farmer. I'm gonna go back. I knew I was forgetting one thing. Still. No. Nah, I'm going to send in Cyberpunk 20, uh, Cyberpunk later, actually. What, try to, try to do some Cyberpunk? Yeah. Oh, I, I play, I need to. I, I, I need beat to Cyberpunk. I liked the some of the mechanics. I didn't. The story felt like they were missing something. I play for my mechanics, to be honest. But basically, the problem I had with it was um, it it was miss some some weapon types just seemed far worse than the other ones. So like it was very easy to discern which one was a good set to use. 
Like, for example, um, tech weapons in that game are fucking broken as hell. You know what tech weapons did, right, Eric? No. Um, so basically, would you like me to explain the three basic weapon types of that game? Oh, uh, yeah. <sighs> Alright, so you got your power weapons, which ricochet. And are just raw kinetic weaponry. Oh no, the Delamain quest is fucking fantastic. Um, so basically, you have your power weapons, which are basically you have ricochet, so you can bounce. They like bounce once when they hit surfaces. You can kind of trick shot them a bit. You have smart weapons, which are like ho basically aimbot. You have homing weaponry, essentially. Oh. Which is kind of nice. It's kind of nice oh, if you don't like gaming. Personality ready, ready for story because everyone's possible at this point can be. Oh, and I forgot to mention the the, bet, the most broken weapon type of all, tech weapons. If you get an automatic revolver that literally fires shotgun shells that literally can pierce through walls, you basically have a tech weapon. Mhm. Mm I've been it, using that. I like the legendary one that spawns every little once in a while and match. Level. I've been using that one. When I um when I played it, I went um intelligence and tech and abil technical ability, and I fucking loved the game with it. It was it was so much fun to like mess around with my enemies with it. You know? Yeah. Oh. Like it definitely had a lot of like potential for just being an entertaining like play style, because you get to you get to hack people, you get the fucking um. You have all the you can basically use technical like tech weapons and shoot through walls and do as careful pinging to basically view people through walls so you can shoot them. You had like poisons, manipulations, all that stuff. You basically were just like, it's kind of like if you ever played um, EYE Divine Cybermancy, it kind of has the feeling of basically these people are at the mercy of you because you literally decided. Because you, regardless if you even choose to hack them or not, they're basically like at the mercy of whatever your technical options are. Yeah. Yeah. Because you either have a tool, a hacking device, or something else that would just murk them, and you're just choose, you're just playing around with it. Oh no, ping was probably the most broken hacking this hack you could do in the game because of the fact that it literally let you um, effectively see everything. <laughs> with a wall-piercing weapon, it's just broken. <laughs> well, I'm trying to do some stealth in the game, but it's really do stealth in the uh, game. You need a really good cool stat for that, because it's really it gets really hard if you don't have high cool stat. Fine. Granted, it's not impossible. It's just... It just you're going to have a hard time with it if you don't. Well, that's why I was like, oh. Yeah. I kind of... um. What I did is I used blind spell, blind hacks and um, pings to basically kind of maneuver through things when I wanted to stealth. And then I basically, if I had to fight, if I had to like fight someone, I would distract two people by having a chain bouncing poison on them so they'll constantly get stun locked. Uh. Who's this? That's oh, a cannibal. Well, Mr. Cannibal Man, I'm gonna sprint. I wish my. And I'm gonna start blasting. The stuff was that, Greg, because that'd be great and make my job easier. Mm -hmm. Okay. Pesky slimes. These fish, these fish keep attacking me. I'm probably gonna play some dead cells or so, or across the obelisk later today um, during the stream. Well, about the what I like about my work right now, Greg, is I can take is apparently I have to take my half hour lunch if I work today. It's mandatory. <laughs> yeah, it's always mandatory. Yeah, but here's the deal. They let it take hour to two hour old time on our own schedule. If we want it at any time, or is it just like circumstantial? 
No, if we need we uh unless it's a holiday, they let us take two hour time. I'm guessing if you, if do you get stuck of holiday fucking overtime by default, or do you just like have to live with that? Uh, it depends. Honestly, I'm not mad at if we get stuck with holiday overtime, the Canadian holiday at the same time, we get double pay. Triple pay. But you really think I'm complaining, Greg, if we're, I get overtime working holiday? I think I just got some mechanical wings or or folding chair. Yeah, or but I get overtime chair. for working holidays, Greg. Yeah, most people do get overtime when they work holidays. Not every place. Uh, doesn't. Well, around here they do. Uh, I'm not sure how Canada does it, but um, I know in the U.S. it's very common for or people to get paid overtime for working holidays. Well, we also have to follow state's laws. Say if I go in for an hour, I still have to take a half hour lunch. That's where they get you, I guess, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, say, say today I'm working... Um, Careful, these tribals, they're quite I um, think ferocious. Two hours? So I'm only working an hour and a half because I still have to take a half hour lunch. How many rounds do I have left? I have 184. Like, I even asked my boss, I said, so if I come in for an hour, I still have to take that half hour lunch? You do. <laughs> mm -hmm. Greg, I have no choice. At least you still have the half hour. I mean, a half hour lunch is a half hour lunch. Doesn't, doesn't matter. It's good. Good to have. Exactly. But I feel bad at my job. That's why I've been taking the extra hours from the end of workday and checking like two of the hours from the weekends for our time. I know with my job, I get. A decent i get a decent amount of um free time like like 30 minutes like a 30 minute lunch to 15 minute breaks although given the the pacing of my job it kind of required usually there's more downtime than that but that's kind of that's kind of yeah. like got me too bad but my job doesn't have a downtime for stuff it's whenever i get it okay so apparently i get um i got a rapid mutation here got two hearts let's see i could upgrade the arms I could Too try hard. to. Too hard. I've already got. The, I, I just got that mutation, but I need something more dexterous. The two hearts gonna just give me more um, longer sprinting and basically more t toughness, which I don't really need because I'm a gunner, not a fucking warrior. I mean, you can be a time lord. Maybe, maybe get more dexterity and more and in, in a ch higher chance of not having cooldowns on moves that use agility as a stat. Well, I say two hearts because long term it'll be tough and rough. Yeah, but I also have a strength and dex fucking mutation, and I have heightened quickness for more action economy. And multiple arms for a chance, extra chance for multi attack. Oh, when said help desk, that's what my sister does, by the way, is help desk. I have reception, I have reception soft, Greg. That's what my sister does, the help desk. Mm -hmm. There. Jobs like. So that triple jointed has given me an extra agility point and an extra six percent um, chance of not spending uh, putting something to cooldown. So Greg, check your disc. <laughs> All right, give me a second. That's what my job is, pretty much. Yeah, I know about that. I'm just not specifying it for that's obvious that's reasons. That's why I said it's not this help desk. <laughs> yeah, you, you're just... you're a gen you cover a general area essentially. Pretty much, they made it all in one. Which makes no sense to me. Like, uh, Greg, I don't... I don't say it, have... from a business standpoint, it does kind of make sense, but at the same time, it is annoying. Yeah, I know. Because you gotta think of it this way. You gotta... You, people gotta put up with that crap. <laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> I don't like it either. I'm like, yeah, I don't like it as much as you do. <laughs> if this guy's a whip... Whips use anything special? Mm -hmm. Wow, whips actually have really high strength caps. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, uh, I chose a mutation that makes it so I can't help see my exact health. I just see like a status of like fine, injured or something. But it gives me, but it gave me two extra mutation points. 
which I put into basically, um, well, having essentially heightened quickness, essentially, you yeah. know? Good. I do need to up an attribute. I could up, I could have agility, just get 26 flat out and be plus five to attack to my accuracy. First part is, we're the only department, right, that does about five different services at once. She's six at this point. <laughs> I guess I should That's the worst healed. part. Uh, first part, Greg, though. Six different services at once. <laughs> so, Greg, here's the explanation. Two. You gotta think of it this way, um, somebody's gotta do it. Why am I carrying so many lit torches? <laughs> Alright. Alright, I'm carrying a bunch of blades. I'm armed to the teeth with blades. Find fruit jam. That sounds disgusting. Um. Like, Greg, fruit description. We have a different department for each one of those, by the way. We do all of them at once. <laughs> uh. Worst part, ha, by I've, the way, Greg. I've collected the creature. Funniest part is we're also our own tech support until it's beyond oh, our stats, and we have to call tech support. So we're oh. our own tech support all, Greg. 